Welcome to Break Your Limitations with Raquel, where I invest in you weekly to assist you to have the life you were meant to lead to the full until it overflows. I truly believe what the good book says when it stated that we will prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. Our soul is our mind, will, and emotions. So weekly, I will bring you a nugget or two to empower your soul so that you can break through to your next level of success. So how is your New Year's resolution going? I know, I know. You probably haven't been to the gym as often as you said you would. Perhaps your diet totally fell off. Maybe you haven't started the business your heart has been craving or even started saving for that amazing vacation you know you deserve. What if I told you that the five-year plan so many people like to make or like to talk about can actually be completed in a year or less? What if you had the roadmap to finally make your New Year's resolutions a reality? You finally accomplish what you set out to do. Yes, I'm serious. You can shrink the timeline for your goals. And today, I'm going to tell you how by focusing on what you would consider good timing. When you're thinking about the timing of things, there is a wisdom to that. And you know this is true if you have children. If you have a car, you're not going to give your seven-year-old the keys to your car. It's not time for your seven-year-old to drive it. Your 16-year-old might have a license, but that doesn't mean that you want to entrust your car to your child just yet. There's a timing to it. But I don't want you to get so bogged down in the timing of things to use that as your excuse to procrastinate and put things off any longer. Some of the lies we tell ourselves about time are, it's not the right time because I have kids right now. It's not the right time because I got married. It's not the right time. I just got a new job. It's not the right time. My job is so hectic. No, it's not the right time. I have to lose weight first. It's not the right time. I don't look the part. No, it's not the right time. I don't feel ready. Strip away the power that you give over to it's not the right time. There is a right time right now for something. What you need to focus on to really get in tune with this is, what is it? What is the right time right now for the next step? That's where I see a lot of my clients miss it. They want this grand big thing and they want it and they want it now. They start to do all these things under the, under the misguidance of massive action thinking that it will hasten the having of what they want. However, mass massive action in the beginning, it doesn't work. That's how you get into trouble. Taking massive action in the wrong direction is frustrating. It's a waste of your time, energy, focus, and resources. You need to slow down enough to think things through. Think about what you want, where you want to go, and the end result of what you want. Then, and only then, move on to the next step to get you there. And this timing of this isn't the right time, you might evaluate it as this isn't the right time to accomplish everything. And the truth is, you don't need to accomplish everything right now. You just need to accomplish the next thing. Reframe the circumstances through your thoughts and language. So what is the end result? Do you want to go to the next level in your network marketing business? Get a promotion at work? Do you want to move to another city or climate? What then is the strategy? If you want to do something like get a promotion, for example, what is the strategy to implement in order for you to receive that successful outcome? So let's go through this scenario. You notice that everyone around you gets promoted and when they get promoted, it's about five years or so, but you wanna go faster. So the end result for you is to be promoted within two years. And I say two years because for management promotion, it generally takes about two years, but you can certainly shrink down the timeline. What is needed for promotion? Well, you need the powers that be to notice you and your work. What projects can you create within a year that you can hit out of the ballpark? And what daily tasks can you do toward those projects? So in this scenario, the roadmap to success is this. Being promoted to management because the powers that be noticed you and they noticed you because you executed three successful projects that improved the bottom line, something that you worked on daily. Did you catch that? In reverse then, you work on your daily task toward the end game. 
in between are the projects that take you there that you're working on on a daily basis. So let's break that down again. Promotion is the end game, the thing you want. To get there, the powers that be need to recognize you and your work. They end up doing that because you had small successes that made you stand out. And that came about by your daily focus and action. So these are your steps. Write down exactly what you want in a way that is so clear that you can articulate it in one or two sentences. Keep it short. Next, write down what you believe undergirds it. In the example I gave, what undergirds the promotion is the powers that be notice you and your work. If you don't know what this might be, connect with those people who already have what you want. They'll be able to share their experience, which might give you the insight you need on what is required to undergird your desire. Then write down what you believe needs to happen in order for you to have that step. In the example I gave, it was three successful projects that improved the bottom line. This was specific and vague. At this point, you might not know what those projects are and it really doesn't matter. The opportunity will present itself, but you have to be intentional that this is what you want to do because you know that this will catch the eye of management. Lastly, you create daily tasks toward that goal. In this example, the goal is three successful projects within a year. So visually think about it like this. Desired outcome is brought about by the perfect timing of everything taking place. Projects were created to get there, which were worked on daily. Your daily task toward the project that will open doors will give you your heart's desire. That is how you shrink the timeline. You need to see what you want clearly and expect that what you need to do specifically is going to be revealed to you. In the meantime, work toward it daily, even if it means 20 minutes. 20 minutes of focus time expends a lot of creativity and output. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, don't forget to connect with me at breakyourlimitations.com. If you would like the transcript of this episode, please send an email to yourshiftstartsnow at gmail.com with the subject line transcript for episode one. It was a pleasure serving you. Have a great week.